this lesson, we are going to be comparing numbers in scientific notation. We'll be using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol to complete each number sentence that we have. So as I'm looking at this, remember, scientific notation, your number has to be between 1 and 10 and times a power. So looking at this, I'm going to rewrite these so I can really see the value of the numbers. Well, when it's to the fifth power, that means I'm going to have a large number. So here's my two, here's my three, and I used one of my places. So now I'm going to add four zeros. And when I do, I get 230,000. Looking at the second one, I am going to again move over one, and now I have a five, so I'm going to add four zeros. One, two, three, four, and I have comparing 230,000 and 170,000. Well, we know that 230,000 is greater than 170,000. So for the second one, this is not in scientific notation, but we are now going to have to change the 1.4 times 10 to the negative 1. Well, when it's a negative number, remember, we move our decimal point to the left, so it my new decimal point is going to be there. So when I'm looking at this, I see that I have no whole numbers, but I have 14 hundredths. And our first number is actually 12 thousandths. So I can just go ahead and compare my tenths place, and I can see that definitely a 1 is greater than a 0, so I will use that less than symbol. For number 3, I see I have a positive exponent with 1.8 times 10 to the third power, and I have a negative exponent. Well, the powers are going to be going opposite, the decimal point, I mean, is going to be going opposite directions. So let's change this to a number in standard notation, which means just the number. So here's my 1, and here's my 8. One decimal place, I need two more. 1, 2. So I have 1,000. 800. And now, when I have a negative exponent, I move my decimal point to the left. I end up with a number smaller than one whole. And so you can see that something less than one whole is definitely smaller than 1,800. So I will use a greater than symbol here. We need to do a comparison, so I have 5,000, and I have 5.2 times 10 squared, or 10 to the second power. This is a positive exponent, so we're going to move our decimal point to the right, and we have to go over 2. Well, here is one place, and here's the extra one. That's 2. So it's 520, and now I have 5,000, and we know that 5,000 is definitely greater than 520. So we must use the less than symbol. And for the last one, small, small decimal that we have here. And I see that this is actually going to be a decimal also because it's a negative exponent. So I'm going to move that over. Here's my 7 and my 1. I moved it over 1, so now I need to add two zeros and put my decimal point there. This means I don't have any holes. So I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to compare the places. The tens are the same. The hundredths are the same. The thousands, oh my goodness, are the same. But finally, the ten thousands, this has a zero and this has a one. So we do know that this number is greater than this one, however, not by much. So we will definitely use the less than symbol there. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more math with Marsha. See you again soon.